Hoi. Hoi, hoi, hoi. Saturday night. Saturday night. Party time in the UK. But I want to get, I'll do a live quickly on three records. Antioxidants, aging, and why free radicals and, and antioxidants is a legit theory um, for aging, for for anti-aging, because it is. And I'm just connecting the dots based on science, but I'm connecting the dots based on my own real world experience and observations with the science combined with experiential wisdom to prove to myself that Free radicals are real, antioxidants are real, the things with the most antioxidants de-age me the most. Hmm, funny that. Funny. The things with the most antioxidants de-age me the most. Free radicals is free. So, let's connect the dots, let's talk a little bit, okay? So, free radicals, we all know, are things that are created oxidative stress. Free radicals are created by breathing, and when food is meant to energy, it creates free radicals, so all the foods we eat. All the air we breathe creates free radicals, and the theory goes that that's what ages our face and ages um not just ages our skin and wrinkles externally, but it in, uh, ages us internally as well. So people don't think about that. We're aging internally and externally with free radicals. So it's aging our skin. You know, think of smoking. What does smoking and drinking alcohol do? It ages you like nothing you've ever seen. Why? Creating a lot of free radicals. A lot of reasons, but one of the major ones is creating a lot of free radicals. Free radicals are bad, man. They'll make you look um, old on the outside. They'll make you also age on the inside. All your organs, muscles, cells, and tissues. Mitochondria are going to age super quick as well. So, there is a way to combat that. And that is antioxidants. Antioxidants. So, they've got their elect they've got a spare electron. Molecules with spare electrons. And that electron is going to the positive ion um, oxidative stress of the free radicals. So it's got it just neutralizes it. That's what antioxidants do. They neutralize free radicals, and that's why um, farm um, people obsess over antioxidants in food, which I find really funny. It does contain food does contain antioxidants. It really does, but it's not as good. It's not as big, or the right focus really, because it's minor. The antioxidants compared to um, let's see the ground when you ground. You get a lot more antioxidants in your system than when you eat a fruit, for example, which has got antioxidant and is very good for me. But if you're talking about big player game with antioxidants and de-aging process, elimination of free radicals that age us and create disease, well, you want to be playing at the game of grounding. You're inside the house if you can, but make your own, by the way, even though I haven't, you can make your own. It's very easy. You should definitely buy grounding um, sleeping mats and, and look into this um, thing called grounding to the Gaia because when we connect to the earth, what we're doing is we're flooding our body with electrons. We're flooding our body with antioxidants. Antioxidants. Electrons from the earth. Same thing. Same thing. And that is why I've noticed for the longest time since I started grounding one and a half years ago regularly. I'm very observational like that and a bit of a geek. So I noticed that... Um, I was doing it at the beginning. I was excited. I was doing it forty minutes every day. Not 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 this stuff, which is non-stop now when I'm in the house. But I was doing forty minutes every day. But I'd observe my face before I went to do my grounding session, and then I'd um and then I'd and do the grounding after, and then I'd look at my face, and I'd notice that my face with forty minutes grounding only, before and after, and I've got the image of myself before and the skin of my face and how it looks totally. I looked after. And I always noticed there was a major difference. My skin was becoming very soft, and it was like my skin, in 40 minutes of grounding, had de-aged. Now I know why. Now I know, because I just flooded my body with antioxidants. Antioxidants um, eliminate those free radicals. And those free, free radicals, unfortunately, some people might not want to hear this, they really are part of the problem of why we age. Free radicals. It's part of the problem why we age externally in our skin layer and also internally and we get diseases you know it, it's a fact it might not be the only factor in disease there's many things at play but free radicals is a massive one and, and no one can tell me that that no one can tell me that i'm wrong that i my skin looks younger and my face looks younger i've done 40 minutes of grounding every day 
always noticed that. Now I'm doing it non-stop. My just skin is just like fucking... I'm doing it in my sleep as well. It's like, poor. So that's the major player. Crowding. And it's also free. How great is that? You know, don't worry too much about fruit, eat foods or other reasons. Don't focus on um, antioxidants for that. Oh, another one. Yeah, aged urine. <laughs> aged urine has a very high uh, negative charge. It means it's it's got a lot of electrons in it. Aging urine. As it gets older, it ages, it gets more electrons in it. And that means it's a major, major, major antioxidant player. Another one. Which is why, when we apply, one of the reasons why, when we apply aged urine topically over my face and over my skin, it looks younger. It de-ages. Why? Because I've just put antioxidants into my bloodstream through the skin. It's gone in. It makes my skin younger. Also, it's the urea, don't get me wrong. That is a factor. But you also have to factor in the um, the antioxidant power of the urine, the age urine. When I drink it, four days old, one week old, two week old, take zips of the age urine, it floods your body with electrons, and it floods your body with antioxidants, which t harmonize and neutralize the free radicals. So when you drink aged urine, you're making yourself younger internally. By the way, that's why they called urine therapy the fountain of youth. I think this fresh urine does that a little bit. So the antioxidant power, it's got a little bit of electric charge, electrons. But aged urine, as it gets older, gets even more electrically charged. It gets more electrons. The more electrons it has, the more um, the more the the, the more antioxidants inside your body you're flooding with. Basically, what I'm saying is, when you drink aged urine in sips and sips. You are flooding your body with what we call antioxidants that reduce oxidative stress and take away the free radicals. And therefore, you are de-aging your entire body. You're flooding your bloodstream with de-aging process with antioxidants. You're neutralizing all the free radicals inside your body when you drink aged urine. That's one of the key factors. There's many. It's one of the key factors why aged urine is so fucking powerful. And you take it and you feel like you're deep breathing. It's a major reason. When you take aged urine, you can feel the power of it so quickly so damn quickly it's one of the best one of the best energy drinks and supplements you could take is to drink or to get it in your system somehow either put it in topically it's a bit slow that process or put up your bum with an enema or do it up your nose <sighs> nice high <laughs> for the brain beautiful high a bit painful it's alkaline <laughs> it's a little painful uh, and drinking it um drinking it is 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 crazy you're flooding your body with antioxidants when you take aged urine in anyhow yeah. If you drink it, it's just going to get into the bloodstream. You put it up the nose, it's going to hit the brain and the bloodstream. You hit up the bum, it's going to hit the, um, the uh, low intestine, the rectum, and the liver. Um, you put it in the skin, it's going to get into the bloodstream, it's a bit slow. So, yeah, that's what I want to say. That free radicals, antioxidants from my, my observations on myself of grounding for long periods. I always look younger after I've grounded. You should do this, by the way, guys. You should do this if you don't believe me, if you're a cynical or whatever. Hopes, I hope everyone's grounding anyway. Have a look at your face before you ground. Go and ground for 40 minutes for the ground and Gaia. And have a look at your face afterwards. And see if you notice that your face is more smoother and soft. In the same way that I do the aged urine massaging on my face, and I always look younger before and after. Same with grounding. You can do that for free. If you're scared of aged urine, cool. Go to grounding. Those, those two are my number one twos for antioxidants. My go-tos. Oh, there's three, actually. Fasting. Daily intermittent hard dry fasting or prolonged fasting is also going to boost your antioxidant levels. Your vitamin C, your vitamin E, glutathione, yada yada, um, zinc, all that kind of crap. But yes, those are that's what I want to say. Um, antioxidants is legit. Free radicals is definitely a factor, and it might not be the only factor that causes disease, but it is real. It ages you physically on the outside. Um, free radicals. Think of people that smoke a lot. It's creating a lot of free radicals. Um, drink a lot of alcohol, creating free radicals. Eating a lot of processed food and eating a lot of snacks and never fasting. It's creating a lot of free radicals. It's why people look old. People out there look older than their ages. It's why people like me don't look as old as we should do, because we are not doing. We are not creating as many free radicals. I'm, I probably do create a lot of free radicals, but I'm fucking ass with grounding. And um, which definitely is a fountain of youth. And um, another one's fountain of youth is the aged urine and urine therapy generally. But aged urine has got way more antioxidant power than just fresh urine. So I do what I can. And um, oh yes, yes, yes. The knees under the tongue. I need to get back into that. I done it sporadically yesterday, but I need to get back into that. That's medicine. Aged urine, fresh urine under the tongue. Sublingual action. Anything under the tongue that's good for you. It's gonna hit the um the lymphatic system, the lymph nodes under the tongue. It's also 
it's going to get the venous circulation, the venous, so the bloodstream, it's going to get into your venous circulation, which is very easy. But that's it, that's what I want to say, guys. Um, Antioxidants and free radicals is definitely a good focus. You can get there from eating foods, yeah, okay, fruits and vegetables, I'll give them that, but it's not really the big one. The big ones are grounding and um, aged urine and fasting and getting that intermittent daily fasting down. Yeah, hard dry fasting, very powerful. Yeah, well, in fact, fasting daily intermittent, but hard dry. Try and go for 16, 20 hours a day of hard dry fasting and then prolong fasting. When you do two, three days of water only, two, three days hard dry, that fasting, the empty, the empty body, the empty body creates antioxidants. And whilst I'm talking, I just thought of another one that's fucking massive. Melatonin. Melatonin. Your body produces its own master antioxidant. Hmm? Master antioxidant. It's called melatonin. It produces it at night time. When, when the lights go out um, and you haven't eaten too much. Yeah. This is a problem with people. They don't produce a lot of melatonin because they eat too much. That's actually true, backed by science. The, the, the more you stuff yourself with food um, up to the point of night time and the more full your belly is, the less melatonin you're going to produce. And melatonin is a master antioxidant master antioxidant so it sweeps up all the free radicals at night time it's there at, at night time to heal your body and the prime time sleep time the prime time sleep time when you meditate when you do on station session your brain goes from high beta down to theta and all these kind of low brain waves to heal you the melatonin is supposed to rise at night time and one of its primary functions the melatonin is not just sleep it's it's an it's antioxidant it's supposed to sweep up the free radicals in the brain and the body that's its job but we get in its own way, most people do. And most people get in its own way. And I'll tell you how most people get in its own way. First of all, they have their um, blue screens on just before they go to bed. And blue screens, artificial blue, looking at your phone just before you go to bed. It's like looking at a mini sun. It's like looking at a mini sun at night time. It's a blue light. You're meant to look at the sun at night time. That's what you're doing when you're looking at screens just before you go to bed. It's crazy. So that inhibits your melatonin lesson levels you don't want because it's a master antioxidant you want your melatonin to be high it's a master antioxidant you know it's one number two people keep the phones on next to their bed at night time bonkers absolute fucking bonkers that's going to stop your melatonin levels your melatonin fucking hell and there's another one i'm trying to remember and eating too much right up to the point before bed the less you eat the more you fast uh, the more empty your tummy the more melatonin you're going to produce the more antioxidants of the more melatonin antioxidant power you give yourself so that's huge, what I just said there. Melatonin's a fucking huge one. It really is. Age, urine, grounding, melatonin. Those are your three ones you should focus on. And fasting. Intermittent and then prolonged fasting will really raise your antioxidant level game. Which is why people say fasting makes you look younger. Which is why they another reason why they say sleeping, um, sleep is beauty therapy. What's that expression? Does somebody know? Sleep is, um, beauty sleep. Sorry, beauty sleep. One of the reasons why sleep is beautiful is because of the melatonin. This is this is this is good. Well, I'm just thinking. I'm thinking in my head right now. One of the reasons why you call it beauty sleep is not only because sleep heals on the level of um, you know lowered brain waves action. It's actually because we our melatonin levels only rise at night time when we sleep in a dark room, no EMFs around. Turn the phone off. Don't eat too much during the day. You know, then your melatonin levels go up. So sleep goes up. That 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 antioxidant power of the melatonin. It's getting into the system and taking away all the free radicals, and that deages you. And that's why people call it beauty sleep, by the way. It's because of melatonin, and because of antioxidants make you younger. Let me repeat, antioxidants make you younger. You flood your body with antioxidants by grounding, by aged urine, by fasting, by melatonin, and focusing on sleep. You can do a lot. That's why sleep is important, by the way. You need to sleep. Long before I got into health properly, I, I, was, I was on it with sleep um, research and research into maximizing my sleep. Because you want to be maximizing your melatonin at night time. Because that chemical, when you maximize it at night time, you peak it by looking after yourself, turning your phone off, um, not having um, blue screens on one hour before bed, and not eating too much. When you peak your melatonin, you'll have the best night sleep of your fucking life. I swear down. That's, deep. That's a crazy. Whoa, Rosalind, mate. 11 days fasting. <laughs> what are you doing? What are you doing? What, are you do what type of fasting are you doing? I'm nosy. That's crazy. 11 days of fat. Even if it's juice fast, I've, I've mad respect for people that deep into a fast. Um, yeah, <laughs> she really does, actually. Isn't it? She really does look young. You know, fasting boosts up your antioxidant levels. 
you know, lets your body produce its own vitamin C, vitamin E, zinc, glutathione. Glutathione is another antioxidant. The melatonin goes fucking crazy when you fast as well. I think I just talked about that. that right? So, yeah. All right, I think I'm done. I've talked enough <laughs> for a Saturday night. So. Mm. Mm. All right. Peace, guys. I hope you got some value out of what I said. And remember, that antioxidants is legit. Yeah, get them into you. Do focus on fruits and vegetables, but remember grounding, urine therapy, age urine, get your sleep down. Get your sleep down. Start researching how to, re Google how to raise melatonin. I've told you, but just Google it as well. Focus in on melatonin. Get the quality sleep at the quality times. Don't have phones on you and don't have artificial lights just before bed. Um, start wearing these if you're gonna, like, start wearing this. Cost six pounds, but it's a fucking DIY. It's a fucking, it's cheap as fuck, but this really does block the blue light. Like, this is industrial strength. Industrial strength, but it costs six pounds. Yeah, six pounds is all it's cost. And it's powerful. If I wear this, if you wear this and turn the Wi-Fi off and you read a book or something, and, oh, if you look at a screen but just turn the Wi-Fi off, your melatonin will go up. Your melatonin starts going up at eight o'clock. So at that point, even though I'm right now, you know, it's eight o'clock here and I'm not, um, turn your Wi-Fi off. At nine, ten o'clock, ten o'clock latest. Say you go to bed at eleven, twelve. Turn your turn your Wi-Fi off. Put these blue blockers on. And these are industrial strength cost cheap as fuck. I'll give you the links. I'll put the links if anyone's interested down below. Um, and start wearing this, and your melatonin will rise. Your mel melatonin will not rise if you're looking at a blue screen, even if the Wi-Fi is off, because a blue screen is like a mini sun. I'll never forget what someone said that it's a mini sun. You don't want to see the sun at night time because that's going against nature. Yeah, you don't want to. So this is sun damage. This this is really strong, by the way. I'm seeing. I, I I struggle to see. It's very red, but it doesn't look trendy. I don't give I don't give a shit how it looks or nothing. It could look bad as fuck, but it's powerful and it's going to raise your melatonin. And melatonin is the antioxidant. It's the one that your body produces that you need to start focusing on. Everyone does. Everyone needs to start nailing sleep. You know, it's a really important part of health. Really important part of health. It's not just diet. It's not. It's light, man. People are obsessed with diet, and it's light as well, bros. It fucking is. Light is powerful, man. This lights that we're looking at from the mini suns, the blue screens at night time, that when it's dark, we're not supposed to do that. It damages us. It fucking kills us, right? Oh, cheers, Bobby. <laughs> yeah, man. You you guys should all definitely get into the... Okay, age urine's one step, but this this stuff is cheap. It's industrial... Oh, I think it's called Draper or something. Type in Draper um, Industrial Strength <laughs> Blue Blockers on, on, on Amazon. You'll find it, and... Yeah, man, start wearing them and don't give a shit what people think. Yeah, it's powerful medicine. So. All right, I have gone way too long <laughs> and I'm boring myself. <laughs> Somebody's learning here. Hope you guys are watching and enjoying yourself. So, yeah, no worries, Delta, mate. It's all, it's all good. Yeah, and I think, you know what? All of these things I talk about antioxidants, I think the ultimate is really. I do like melatonin, I think it's powerful. I do like grounding. Obviously, I do them. But age urine. <laughs> Next level. It's many things, age urine. It's not just antioxidant, it's alkaline it's oxygen it's abundant energy it's less sleep you don't even need much sleep it's 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 powerful if you're on age urine you're probably healthier than 99 percent of the people in the health community by the way if you're 100 200 300 mils even eating cook crap crap food you are way healthier than people think about that I'm glad I made somebody laugh today <laughs> with my information. I just feel like I'm a fucking geek sometimes. I don't know why people watch my videos. <laughs> I hope you're learning something. So, yeah. Buy these glasses, man. Start looking into sleep. Start looking into melatonin. Get some of you into, like, researching the powers of melatonin and what I'm talking about, antioxidants and de aging process. Like I said, it's beauty sleep because melatonin rises to crazy levels. you really got to start focusing on the body and how powerful it is. It's all about the body, man. It's all about the body and its power. So, yeah. All right, cheers, guys. Thanks for watching. I appreciate you. And um, yeah, I'll put the links up um, for these glasses at the end. Peace. <laughs>